It's that time of year again where Mournville residents will head to the polls to elect a future mayor. This election is different from last because there are three candidates. Current Mayor Barry Turner is running again, and Shane Latticer and Simon Borsma are throwing their hats into the ring this year. All of the candidates are united in their goal to make Mournville the best community it can be. Background in Mournville, I moved here in 1988 uh, with my family. We're here, we're home, and um, you know this is just the best place to be. So I'm a proud long-time resident and business owner in Mournville. Well, I've lived here just under a year. I've enjoyed this community since I moved here, actually. Each of the candidates comes from a unique background. Borsma immigrated here from Holland, Latticer moved to Mournville about a year ago, and Turner has lived here since he was a teenager. They also all have their own values and ideas with what's best for the community being at the top of the list. Well, I think really what sets me apart is that long-term vision. Uh, you know, municipal government is, uh, is very much a long-term enterprise. Fiscal responsible management I've been involved with a lot through uh, my jobs, through my trades, through my business education. Among my volunteer activities, I'm a former president of the Mournville Chamber of Commerce. I was also the president of the Rotary Club of Mournville. Taxes are paid by everyone, so they are a common ground when looking for ways to lessen financial burdens on residents. Just as our community changes and grows, so do the families that live in it, and all of the candidates believe it is important to make municipal taxation fair and reasonable for Mournville citizens. You know, the costs of uh, of amenities like the Mournville Leisure Centre or the uh, Mournville Community Cultural Centre, um, all of those costs are dispor disproportionately uh, borne by uh, residents. Taxes, however, should not automatically increase each and every year. Instead, Council must strive to impose those taxes that are below inflation. And of course, bringing in more jobs. The mismanagement I've seen, um, deficits two years in a row. I don't believe any government should be in a deficit. Polling day in Mournville is on October 18th, but advanced voting will take place October 9th, 13th, 14th, and 16th. Last year, 23% of eligible voters cast a ballot, so be sure to head to the polls and choose the future you want for Mournville. First thing I would do actually is return the $15,000 per year raise, put it back into the Mournville coffers, that way we can try to less the taxes. We want you and your classmates to come home safely every day. Crosswalks at schools and parks, therefore, deserve attention. We look at number one is leveling out that uh, business versus residential uh, tax ratio. I think that's absolutely critical to moving forward. Youth are an integral part of our community. Young people are the future and it is important to recognize that. Often, the younger generation's views and opinions are disregarded because of presumed inexperience. Well, for the youth, I want to engage the whole community through the, uh, the town's website and get you guys a little thing where you guys want to get involved with the community to help us understand what you guys want more. There are future leaders, of course, and I have been so impressed um, by, uh, by those in our younger demographic. I think we need to start talking to youth about a youth centre, for sure. I think it's a very important aspect. I think we tend to forget about the future sometimes and only work for ourselves. Don't forget to get out and vote on October 18th to have your say in the Mournville election. For MCTV News, Brielle Windsor reporting.